Welcome back. I'm Noreen Burke, owner of Call Clutter Fairy, and this is my YouTube channel, The Crafty Organizer. Today, I am so excited because I'm getting to do a viewer makeover. So I'm in the room of a viewer right now. We've gotten to meet a couple of times to talk about what they were hopeful for and come up with a plan to organize their space. So please accept my apology up front. The recording of this is going to be a little bit off and on. I was hoping the mic would pick up things better, but we're going to focus on the closet first. And then we're also going to work on this other area where he has a large collection of small collectibles and specialty gaming pieces. So I want to pull out the supplies and storage that he has in there so that he can really focus on his collection. We're also going to focus on this corner because it is completely being underutilized. I want to turn this into a functional workspace where everything will be easily within reach. What we're going to be starting is the closet. Now I like starting with closets because most of the time that's going to give us the most storage capabilities. So in the instance of this closet, We've got a lot of space up here that actually isn't being utilized as well as it could be, but the bigger place to focus on is look at all of this space down below. Now, he's done a great job fitting things in there for storage, but we could do much better. So what I'm going to do is remove everything from these shelves. I'm actually going to take this shelf up and move it up. And I'm going to add a second garment bar that looks just like this underneath so that he gets double the space for his pants and shirts. So let's go. Taking this out just involved removing the screws. If they're painted over, Google how to remove a screw that's either stripped or painted over. In this case, I used a chisel to get the extra paint off and then just removed it. But these actually slide out pretty easily. And now what I'm going to do is move it up to that upper support and add a whole new bar for his clothes. All right, I'm ready. I've measured out. So basically what we did is we took some of the longer items that he has for his closet and I pretty well eyeballed this, but I just wanted to make sure before I start placing where things are going to go, that we've got a bar that's going to be here. And this is wood that I'm going to be installing, but right now it's just floating here. But I'm basically having a garment bar here, and there's going to be another garment bar here. Now how we do that, I'm using the existing rods. This room is so unique because it used to be two bedrooms. And when he rented this room, they separated it and took out the wall. So it went from two rooms into one big one. So there's two closets. The other closet's being used for other things, which I'll show later in the video, but the bar was saved, thankfully. So we're gonna reuse that. But what you can do if you're adding a dowel or a rod is there's these rod sockets that you can get and they're just two or three dollars and you just put a screw through each hole and the bar will go into one and slide down in the open. I'll show you how I do that, but if you watched my room divider video, I showed you how to do a mini wardrobe by using these. And I have to confess, sometimes when you go to Home Depot or Lowe's, they're not going to know what you're talking about with these. They're usually where the rods are sold. I can't tell you how many times I've gone into those stores and they tell me something like this doesn't exist. It does, I promise. So rod sockets, you could probably get them on Amazon too. So now I'm going to install two. So as you'll see, the existing closet already had these cleats, these wooden cleats. So I just went to Lowe's for $6. I got an eight foot bar, which gave me four supports for the closet. I cut them down to size and now I'm just installing them. Right on the inside of the framing within the first three inches is always wood. That's where you wanna focus your screw so that you have the most strength and you won't have anything crashing down in your closet. So I'm just gonna get these installed. <laughs> so the solid pocket rod is on this side and it's a full circle. So you always wanna get the rod in that first 
And this is a two inch rod. I think it's pretty standard. And then coming on this side, you want to make sure that this is tilted up so that the rod goes over and rests inside of this. But you want to make sure that that opening is tilted up so that when you pull clothes or you're pulling hangers, the whole rod doesn't fall on you. But you also want to make sure you have an opening here so that if it's all the way up like this, you won't have clearance to take that rod out. Now, chances are you're not going to be removing the rod often, but if you do, you just want to make sure you have enough clearance for that to come in and out. And now we can start hanging clothes again. I'm using this support bar here to create a place for his belts and ties and loose things. So I'm just using easy cup hooks and you can get these at the Dollar Tree. I did pre-drill so that the wood doesn't split. Now that I have the starter holes, I can easily screw the cup hooks in, but I'm making sure they're facing the wall. And then I take my pliers and I bend it away just a little. This prevents it from catching and grabbing you and getting you hurt, but it gives the hooks on the belts or whatever you're hanging easy access. This would also work great for scarves, for jewelry, small purses. I wouldn't do anything too heavy on here, but it's the perfect source to hang belts and small items in a closet. So there were two closets because, as I mentioned at the beginning, this was two separate bedrooms. They've since taken the wall down and made it one nice big bedroom. So this particular closet has been converted to a collections and gaming closet, and they have one of my favorite shelves that I use all of the time, so I'm so happy they already have this. But they did have one shelf that wasn't being used. They did a really smart thing, which is put the extra hardware underneath the shelf so I could find it right away. So I'm going to add that shelf so we can get a little bit more of this space up above. Anytime I see a void, if I can use it for storage, I like doing that. That's what I'm going to do right now. Now that the closet's done, we're going to start working on just a pre-sort of this area. I want to know how the homeowner is using these items, what they need, what they don't. So we're going to put likes with likes and then we'll be able to identify what storage space we need for these things and what, if anything, can go away. So let's get going with that. So I missed a little bit of the filming, but the homeowner already had one of those amazing IKEA storage units that have the pull-out slide bins, and that was in this closet. So what I did is I pulled it out, and then he had a small table in the middle of the room that was holding some of his crafting supplies, and I've switched those. So now in the closet, you can see they've got this table, and this is more for their displays and collectible items. But over here on this wall, is where we're going to get all of the crafting supplies together. So this came out of that closet. This is where I'm gonna start housing the Cricut supplies, the paper supplies, and other crafting needs that he has. But the nice thing is, is we had already moved a desk over here. So this is going to be his whole craft corner. And eventually that corner is gonna be opened up for a chair so that he can be leisurely in his room. So what we've done is broken down categories and there's piles all over, but we've got craft supplies separated from office supplies. We have paperwork to go through. We have clothing supplies. And then we have educational things that are left over uh, from his college days. So those are our piles right now. And I'm gonna finish up and I'll show you where we're at. You guys. I am so excited at getting to do a viewer room makeover. This was something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And the reason I got to do this one is the Patreons have helped so much for me to get to take a couple of days off from work and actually help another viewer. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I want to show you exactly what we've done. So this was one of the pivotal pieces in this, which was getting more storage in here so that he could easily get more clothes in and not have them overflowing into other places. Now I am going to come back for one more session with him later to just help refine and purge a little bit, but let me show you the rest of the room.
what you guys think of this? Do you like watching these makeovers? I have truly been wanting to do a room makeover for a viewer almost since I started this channel. It's what I'm hoping to eventually evolve into. I know I've talked about this with a couple of you before, but my ultimate dream, once my Patreon gets bigger or once I start making more money on YouTube, is to get an RV and get to start traveling around and helping so many of you. I hear these stories of how you're either alone or you don't have family that help you or you're in a situation where physically you just can't do these projects. You guys, I want to come help you. So I keep putting this in the universe hoping that this beautiful new functional RV comes so that I can start coming. I hear so many of you that live in New Jersey or Albuquerque or North Carolina. You're everywhere. I would love to just hop in my RV, get to see the states and enjoy the drive there, and then come help you make your spaces functional, decluttered, and beautiful so that you can craft or enjoy your space again. So I'm hoping that someday with the growth of my channel and perhaps a few more Patreons, I'll be able to do just that. So I'm looking forward to reading your comments below. Hopefully this really is something that you enjoy watching. Also, I got to redo a second part of his area, which was his storage shed. So make sure you're subscribed so that when that second part gets posted, you get alerted. That's all I have for today. Once again, thank you for watching. I will see you guys in three days. Bye.